All right, so in this stretch, in these couple of few stretches that I have here, um, I'm not gonna do both sides, I'm just gonna do one side, but everything that I do on this side uh, with this leg, I do on the, on the other side. So just to save time and this is a lot easier. So with this stretch here, you know, you can see just by uh, looking at me, you know, the belly's coming forward. I'm, I'm kind of sitting more like this. Uh, so what, what's important for me is to kind of rest back into the butt and I can feel this stretch right through my, my, uh, my quad here. And then I'm also gonna feel it through my hamstring on this leg. So I'll sit here again and breathe for a little bit just to kind of relax and to get the muscles ready for, for me to stretch them. And then leaning back, this is probably one of the, my most enjoyable stretches. I mean, they're all pretty good, but this one feels so good, especially through right here again, through this, through this quad, I can feel it's just so tight. And just leaning back and again, just breathing, I can feel it like loosening up and just relaxing. And then from here, what I like to do is come back up. And this is also a stretch for, for again, the quad and for your back is just turn. And with, with the breath, it's really good because it helps you get, it helps me get the stretch even deeper. So just holding here, I can feel again, right in through this, the hamstring or the quad rather, I can feel that stretching, but to get a deeper stretch and also for the back, I'll just breathe in. And then as I'm breathing out, I'm gonna turn and look even further. And as I do that, I can feel that stretch in that quad even deeper and in my back. And again, I, I take my time with all these stretches. I'm not trying to, rush through them. Whereas 15 plus years ago, when, when my physiologist or my physical therapist and massage therapist and every other therapist that I saw for my body, they would tell me, John, you need to stretch. You need to exercise every day. And I hated it. But now that I've gotten older, I'm realizing the importance of stretching and keeping your body loose. And it's, it really is. I mean, it's a pain in the butt to do it for an hour, hour and a half every single day. But I'm seeing the benefits of it. And so if you're younger and stronger, I think it's really important for you to, to take time out to take care of your body every single day because as you get older, all the abuse that you've done to it young, when you were younger is gonna catch up with you. From that stretch then, I like to lean forward. And this one here is where, I don't know if you can see my foot, it really is kind of turning more and that's because of the muscles around the ankles are weakening. So I, this one here, I will, I will literally try to push through the big toe, but then also try to manually rotate the foot so that I can keep this leg straight and I can kind of keep my upper body directly over top of it and just stretch, stretch that this leg. And then also, again, it's a lot has to do with the, uh, with the quads. I can really feel that, that, that muscle being stretched. So again, I'll hang out here. 30 seconds to a minute and just breathe. And as, a, as you breathe in and breathe out, it's like you can go deeper. You can relax even more to where you're getting closer and closer to the leg. And then from here, again, I, I, what I'll do is I'll do this two or three times, this stretch, even though I'm taking like, you know, 30 seconds to a minute for each pose that I'm doing here. I'll then do it a second time just because it feels so good. But for time reasons, I'll, I'll keep it short. The, the last stretch that I'll do is um, when I go through the second time, so when I lean back and turn to the side, instead of leaning forward over my leg, I'll bring this leg <clears throat> over this leg. And it's very important not to put it on the knee. You're gonna feel it because it's gonna hurt. So you put it directly behind the knee and then I would, um, I'll use my arm on either side of the leg and the foot to really brace it so it doesn't move. And then just, again, breathing and then just relaxing into the pose. And then I'll even kind of come over to the side here a little bit and I can feel this stretch all through my back. 
I think that's pretty much the only place that I can feel feel that stretch is really through the back and then hang out there and it's important too to keep your feet from from turning to kind of really activate this is what my um, yoga teachers were telling me to activate the foot so that you're pushing through the big toe the little toe this left lower corner and this right corner to where it's almost as if you're standing on the ground and it, it's also like a, a an exercise in keeping that ankle strong because if you don't do that and you're just letting the ankle muscles continue to weaken, the foot's gonna continue to turn. And this is the part that I'm landing on when I'm walking. And so it's really important to keep like this foot landing flat so that I don't turn an ankle or break my ankle, which which will happen if if you're not walking correctly. So, so it, within these stretches, I'm also doing some exercising where I'm keeping the feet pretending like I'm on the ground and standing on the ground and keeping it um, flat so that the, the ankle and the foot muscles are are working. Okay, so then uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you the last set of stretches that I do.